some of you need to be very balanced and moderate with your money. For some of you, this is budgeting, right? Being very conscientious and conscious about how you're spending your money. Um, with the temperance card here, moderation and balance is the name of the game. There's something here where if you're careful about your spending, it can really benefit you moving forward, okay? Some of you are going to get some intuitive hit about money, about finances, or a final judgment in a legal situation. There's something like there's a divine hand on finances right now for somebody here. We have two angels in these cards, the judgment card, temperance card. Um, there's divinity surrounding your finances. Uh, with the queen of swords, they want you to be very clear, very conscientious again, right? That word keeps coming up, conscious of how you're spending your money. But also, if someone brings you an offer, make sure the offer is right for you. Don't just take it without really thinking about it. If you guys have been struggling with finances or if something's been a little dark, uncertain, um, say you, you took a loss or something like that, the sun is coming back, right? The light is coming back into your finances. Be open to new ideas and exploring new ways of aligning with money. You might get, <clears throat> excuse me, you may get ideas from other people. At this time, could be someone older or younger. With this trumpet here and this person handing here and the, even the queen of swords, there's something about receiving information. This could be divine. Or it could be from someone you know. Either way, it's divine, right? For someone here, your ancestors want you to know, and I feel like this may be a divine feminine who maybe had to rely on masculines when she was living here right she had to rely on a male to provide she wants you to know that you can be your own knight in shining armor you can save yourself she wants you to really focus on building up your wealth right and um if your spouse comes in with extra resources and can help that's great um but be self-sufficient okay we also have the Empress here, so Divine Feminine Energy. Um, be careful of heart issues around a mother figure, an older woman, or even yourself. Like if you're starting to have something that feels weird, you know, um, if you have a history of heart disease in your family, I want you to be mindful of that. Strokes, I just heard stroke. If someone, watch the people around you, right? Pay attention to yourself. Be mindful of your stress level. Some of you need to really take time out. Um, if you can get away, go in new directions. Sometimes, you know, just go outside and read a book. Be careful of stress because stress can hurt as well. Can um, really hurt you. But there's a need to, for some of you to enter into that divine feminine energy of just relaxing. Um, just being, you know, allowing yourself to receive instead of always taking action your ancestors are saying you know you have this card here which talks about slaying dragons right so these can be external dragons right external problems but for you i'm seeing there's something internally that you need to slay so the ancestors are saying it's time to do some shadow work right it's time to do the work of alchemizing whatever that pain has been in your life transforming it into something that is empowering for you as opposed to disempowering some of you are moving up spiritually to a new level it's like a graduation and fulfillment coming to you some of you there's been some personal work you've done spiritual work whatever you want to call it but it's taking you to the next level with fulfillment here again in the empress card like, that's a lot of abundance in two cards, you know? So you're being bumped up. There's something about you being bumped up because of some work you've done with slaying your dragon, some of you. They want you to, your ancestors really want you to get up every day with a good, positive attitude. And just go out and be excited about 
what could possibly take place during that day, right? Like, try to wake up and go out with a good attitude. Yeah. Yeah, ancestors just gave you this card. Two cards here. It says, gold, you don't need someone else to fix you, right? So, I think some of you may beat yourself up because that you've gone through some type of pain and now it's kind of lingered and you have certain behaviors and attitudes. No. Don't worry about that. You're okay, right? You're moving through your pain, especially if you're doing work to transform and alchemize it. Somebody here could probably benefit from therapy, some type of counseling. It could even be groups with other people who have experienced similar, you know, support groups or something like that. But you don't need anyone else to fix you. Even a therapist is not really there to fix you. I've noticed that they just give you the space to speak about things that you may not normally speak about. And sometimes that in and of itself is healing. Let's look into um, love and relationships. Now, I decided to look at this first because I don't know about you, but I've been getting a lot of like um, information and energy that is pointing to people entering into divine union. And honestly, you could have no idea that this is about to happen for you. You could feel like I'm talking about somebody else, right? <laughs> I can't possibly be talking to you because you don't even know. You know, you don't see no love nowhere in sight. But there is divine partnership and divine union on the horizon for um, people. I feel like the divine is just bringing us together for some reason at this particular moment in time. So just try to be optimistic and open. You know, like, just because things haven't worked in the past doesn't mean that that will repeat. So it's really time to step into your power when it comes to love and relationships and stop repeating um, patterns that are harmful for you, right? Stop going into things with rose-tinted glasses. Stop um, allowing yourself to be manipulated and things like that. That's the first thing I'm getting because that just doesn't work for your ancestors. Some of you are going to be going on date nights. I did hear, or on dates, <laughs> I did hear the words date night um, the other day. So they're saying get back out there for those of you who have not been out, right? Who have not been meeting people. It's time to get back out there so that you can meet someone new, right? If you don't have anybody, if you're in a relationship already, it's a really good idea to you know, go on dates to spend time together, to have moments where you can talk and connect more. But for those of you who don't have anybody, there is potential to meet someone and to begin talking to them because we have talking and then we have date where it says meeting someone new, um, setting a date or dating online. So you're being encouraged for those of you who are interested in love, right? And building a connection with someone the ancestors are saying it's time to put yourself out there if you're sitting at home and and wishing for love that's not going to work start to explore some new ways of meeting people 